Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a calculator. So let us begin. So for this, we need one Arduino Uno, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, one resistor, and one keypad of four into of four cross four. Now let us see how to connect the circuits. So first of all, let us see how to connect this keypad. This keypad has total four rows and four columns. So we'll so we'll connect all of those to the zero to seven number pin of this Arduino respectively. And after it, let us see how to connect this LCD screen. So over here, we will connect the ground pin, contrast pin, and read and write pin of this LCD to this GND pin of this Arduino. After it, we will connect this power pin of it to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. And this register select and enable pin to this 8 and 9 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect this DB4 to DB7 number pin of this LCD to this 10, 11, 12 and 13 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect this LED and node to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino and LED cathode to the GND pin of this Arduino through a resistor. So in this way, our circuit is ready. Now let us see the code. So this is our code. Over here, first of all, we have included two header files. First is the liquid crystal library and the second one is the keybed. After it, we have initialized some variables and arrays that we will be using in our functions. Over here, this uh, byte rows and byte columns, this, rep this represents that over here, we have used four rows and four columns. And th this is our array. It simply represents this keypad. Over here we have uh, we have initialized two arrays. Uh, this rows represents that these pin numbers are uh, the these rows are connected to these number of pins in the Arduino. And similarly for the for this column. Now this is the liquid crystal library LCD eight to thirteen pin number. We have connected this LCD. Now in the word setup function, we are beginning the LCD and this 16 represents the number of columns in the LCD and the 2 represents the number of rows in the LCD. Now in the word loop function, first of all, we are clearing the screen. After it, we are setting the cursor to 00, zero means the 0 number row and 0 number column. And we are printing this choose any one and the in the next row, we are printing option. And this Delay function takes the time in milliseconds and 2000 millisecond equals to 2 seconds. So in this way we are proceeding further. Uh, after it we have declared that A equals to addition. Over here B is subtraction, C is multiplication and the D represents the division. After it we are displaying in the screen that enter any option. After it, we are using this keypad dot get key. We are getting the key from this keypad. And the same we are also printing in this LCD screen. After it, we are taking the operand number 1 and operand number 2 from the user. And now if the key equals to A means if the user has pressed this key, we will perform the addition. Similarly, for B subtraction, for C multiplication and for D division we will perform. Now let us see how actually it will work. So now I'm clicking on scatter simulation. As you can see over here it is displaying choose any one option and these options represent what it is also shown. Now I'm entering A means addition. Operand was zero. Let it be same. And now it is showing 0 plus 0 equals to 0. So in this way it will draw. Thank you.